Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I'm starting a Manny Monday series and today I am doing a very pretty Rossi Gel Nails Manicure and the color I'm using is Hot Cake by Rossi Gel Nails. <laughs> I should just keep saying that but so to get this manicure to last long, you want to make sure you prep your nails properly, which is the hydrate and push back your cuticles, clean your cuticle area, um, get rid of any dead skin that's around there. That way there's no lifting and also cap your tips when you're applying. Now here I am just rubbing some alcohol to dehydrate and this really just gets rid of any oils on your nails. I did not do any buffing just because I buffed them uh, about two weeks ago and I really don't like buffing the top layer of my nails too much so this is the soak off base coat you need the soak off base coat the color coat and the Rossi top coat to do this so go ahead and apply a layer of the base coat and cap your tip apply this to all of your nails and then you're going to want to cure for 90 seconds in a LED lamp, UV LED. Um, now my lamp stays on for 30 seconds, so that means I had to put my hand under. It's the Sensation Nails lamp. And um, then pull it out and then put it back under for like three times, four times, just to make sure it's properly cured. You definitely want to make sure you properly cure your gel because um, you're not supposed to leave it uncured. But I do have some thoughts on this base coat. Um, I did have some issues with it kind of pulling away from the edges. The only time I've ever experienced anything like that is when I used China Glaze's Gelaze gels. Like it, you had to cure each individual finger. I don't know why that was happening. Maybe the alcohol was still having a residue on my skin. But I, I did have to very quickly fix where it was pulling away and cure. So now I'm going in with my color very carefully all the way to the cuticle. Not touching the cuticle though. You don't want to flood your cuticles. And make sure if you get any on your skin you clean it up with some alcohol or acetone. And then just cap your tips as you go along. And also again with the color color the color coat I did notice some pulling away from the tips like it kept going bare and I maybe you all have an idea of why it's doing that I don't know why but um, just make sure you cap those tips if you want your manicures to last so I'm just gonna continue to go on with my nails and I would have had this video posted sooner but I have been very very sick um, with a sickness called colitis and the doctor I'm assuming it was bacterial colitis um, it put me in the ER and put me into shock from the pain it was just terrible but um, I'm on the mend I'm still having issues a week later from the antibiotics if anybody's ever taken antibiotics you know what they do to your digestive system they pretty much ruin it so um, yeah, I am just finishing up the color coat here. Sorry, this is such a long, boring part. I just wanted to sit down and show you the full process of me doing my nails. So, I'm on the pinky. And I, the holographic powder that I showed at the beginning is from Born Pretty Store. A little bit goes a long way with the powders. I've seen some people complain that they don't get enough, like they feel like they don't get enough in their jars, but I find that just just a barely enough is it goes a long way just a little bit goes a long way with the powder so I am going in for my second coat which pretty much deepens this up to the color that it's going to be which is a dark dark brown now online it almost had like a reddish hue to it like a deep reddish brown hue I guess you could say this color looks like that in person I'm not so sure but once I got past the whole like issue with it pulling from the tips, I'll tell you how I got past that. And it's an annoying way to do it. I had to cure each individual finger. Um, you're not you're not seeing that, but 
I had to cure each individual finger after putting it on that way it wouldn't pull away so that is annoying but I still have this manicure on today it's been over a week since I've had this on and I don't see myself taking this off until this weekend so I can prep for the next Manny Monday video but I just love how this manicure turned out so pretty and so fall time for me I just really was in the mood for something sparkly and shiny and pretty so now I'm going ahead and using a sponge applicator to make a kind of glitter gradient with the um, holographic powder and I'm really happy with how this turned out it's so so pretty in real life and I don't know if, if I'm mistaken there's some type of red glitters or something that shows up underneath like it's not just hollow powder like you'll see when I put the top coat on it'll really sparkle and shine but I'm so happy with how this manicure turned out so so pretty and I am gonna be doing more dip manicures on here um, now that I'm not swatching I am going to be doing more long wearing manicures for my Manny Mondays but here I am just using a fan brush to get rid of the extra glitters and to clean up anywhere that's on there and if you look really closely you can definitely see some sort of red sparkle or shimmer in there it's super duper pretty it's got so much depth um, and if I can find the link to that hollow powder I will definitely link it I'm pretty sure Born Pretty Store probably still has it but here I am just applying my top coat and curing for um, a long time more than 90 seconds so four times 30 <laughs> but here is the finished manicure I'm really really happy with how it turned out I've been craving something shiny and sparkly and this definitely fulfilled all of my glitter and fall needs for a while so I hope you all enjoyed today's video and um, yeah I am looking forward to seeing you all my next Manny Monday let me know what you all think in the comments down below and recommend some good long wearing gels or dip manicure stuff. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.